important notice we are closing premium tutorial enrollment by jan 2020 i request you to take part and enroll if you are interested in this tutorial we are going to see about debounce that is uh, what is debounce time debounce level yeah that is debounce please find more in description visit our website eduserve.company for all our tutorials in order or a sequence subscribe for more details what is debounce in simple you can tell it as uh, debounce time or debounce level or debounce period or even simply debounce so what is debounce exactly as usual in a simple way just we have there so the see here we are setting the voltage to 12.5 volt so once as soon you setting the voltage to 12.5 volt it takes some time to set the time is not in seconds it will be in always you know milliseconds so that is what the time which is required to set a certain parameter or some fault so that is called debounce so let's we have uh, more on to this see debounce time or a debounce level so see this is your um, this in the graph this is what your end point so in uh, this one say for example uh, this is a 12.5 so you cannot uh, get 12.5 uh, at a very soon so you have to cross these then it will reach the 12.5 so from here to here that is the time where you started and the time where it attained the complete uh, saturation that is called debounce level see how important debounce time is so in this statement you can understand more into the debounce above see the for any false or setting any parametric value debounce time or level is more important say for example if the requirement says the inflating airbag should happen within 200 milliseconds that is once the car crashes then within 200 milliseconds or uh, or uh, or with, yeah, within 200 milliseconds or exactly 200 milliseconds with a minor tolerance the airbag should inflate so this is what the requirement so that the the develop the, uh, the development has to be done with a debounce time of 200 milliseconds see as soon the car crash happens the debounce time reaches the airbag to inflate so this is what the debounce time so this is not only for you know airbag this is for you know setting any parameter or occurring any fault say for example even in our previous tutorial we have seen the buzz off error so for the occurring the buzz off error you can do some preconditions once you do the precondition the buzz off a fault will occur but once the the bus of error condition happened but what time it reaches the bus of error so that is what the debone step so still we have a clear picture here say for example as a car soon crashes happens the debone time reaches add back to inflate say here crash happens okay so the car crash happens and once as soon the car crash happens the the debone level has keep on coming and once the debone saturation point occurs then the airbag will inflate so the time required from the crash happens till the inflate airbag is a debounce time or debounce level so while testing or while developing you have to ensure the debounce level for all the parameters is satisfying or not so this is a very simple explanation on debounce so if you want more tutorials or you can just leave a comment what are the topics you want or the contents you want and if you want to watch our uh, tutorials in order or a sequence you can visit this description uh, sorry can visit this uh, link that we have given in the description you can just sign up for free and you can watch all our tutorial in a order so catch catch you in next upcoming tutorials until then